Let's compare useful items during a zombie apocalypse. I think we would all agree that a fully loaded shotgun would be very useful. But of even greater value would be a slower companion. Um, no, not really. During a zombie apocalypse, what would be of even greater value is companions who do not abandon one another. Now, most of you probably are not old enough to remember when professional athletes were not allowed to compete in the Olympic Games. <laughs> it's true, amateurs only. So in 1980, the U.S. Olympic hockey team was made up entirely of college kids. And if they were going to win a gold medal, they would have to beat the Soviets, who on paper were amateurs, but were very much professionals who'd played together for years and who were regarded as the best team in the world, amateur or professional. Now, the coach of the American team, Herb Brooks, when he was drafting the college kids who would have to face the hockey apocalypse, he got a lot of heat for not choosing some of the best players available. But his response was, I'm not looking for the best players. I'm looking for the right players. He knew he could not beat the Russians on talent. So he chose players whose defining quality was they excelled at teamwork. Human beings who would rather die than let each other down. And they beat teams they had no business beating, including the Soviets, to win the gold medal. When things get tough, really tough, the dumbest thing you can do as a teammate, as a colleague, or as a country, is abandon one another.